What comes to your mind when you hear the term artificial intelligence? Most people associate at least something with this term, maybe something good, maybe something bad, some hopes or fears, maybe a picture, a story or a movie. But I guarantee it's not what's in this box. Okay, stop. Before I will continue opening this box, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting this little bell, then you will not miss out on my next adventure. And now, have fun. Peanuts? Well, peanuts probably not the first thing you would associate with artificial intelligence, wouldn't you? But I remember a place where we might get a hint. Hmm, spooky, but seems we are on the right track. So let's see where the peanut leads us. But why at all is it important what we associate with a term like artificial intelligence? Well, if it's something negative, we might not be willing to take a deeper look at what's really behind the technology. I must admit, the first time I came across AI was as an undergraduate in physics. And I was so put off by stories about creating artificial humans that I didn't touch upon this topic again for more than 20 years. But on the other hand, if you're overly optimistic about the technology, you might not consider risk and side effects well enough. But back to our little island. The peanut has led us to this mysterious hut. So let's check it out. Hmm, strange place. But peanut, here we go. But what is it? it looks like kind of a museum. Jellyfish? It's over here. A couch potato? That's weird, isn't it? Is this a strawberry? And here a pool noodle? That's really strange. So let's check what's over here. Oh, here we have artificial intelligence. Oh, at least we now know that AI is green. So let's recap what we have. We have the peanut, we have a jellyfish, we have the couch potato, we have a strawberry, we have a pool noodle, and we have artificial intelligence. And maybe you noticed the signs on the wall. Hmm. So what do these things have in common? The first thing that comes to my mind is that a couch potato is actually not a potato, isn't it? And um, a pool noodle is not a noodle unless it's a noodle soup. And uh, a jellyfish doesn't look really like fish. So what about the rest? So I checked. A peanut is actually not a nut, but a pea. And a strawberry, on the other hand, is a nut. You can check it. So all objects are actually not what their names suggest, but we don't care because we know what a jellyfish is or a strawberry. We don't care about the name and it doesn't confuse us. For artificial intelligence, it's the other way around. Most people don't know what AI is, but they have an intuition what intelligence is. And most people associate intelligence or intelligent behavior with human beings. So the association artificial intelligence equals artificial human seems close. But even most AI researchers will admit that today's AI technology has not much in common with human intelligence. So let me give you some advice how to handle the term artificial intelligence. First, accept the term as it would be the name of a potato. Second, don't get emotional about this term, neither super excited nor afraid. And third, forget about all the association you have with this term and use this channel to understand what's really behind artificial intelligence. <laughs>